All right, guys, and welcome back to another one. So um, now, uh, assuming that you guys have more than one T-beam, um, I also made another T-beam, and I just did exactly what I did in the first video. Uh, this one I kind of left off is I didn't name it. So I noticed this one just says Mesh-tastic, and it's C4, CC4, 4CC4. Um, but we still see Bob's in there because Bob's is now powered up by a battery. And we can see a signal strength, and so now we have two nodes that we can talk to. So, for example, if we go to Messages right now, and I don't have Bob on a device, so we're going to have to just go with the screen. But So I can directly message um, Mr. Bob's device there. And uh, we're going to send him a message and say, Hey, dude. This, I don't know what else to put. So this is Bob's. Now watch what happens here. I'm going to send, Hey, dude. And uh, you see there it says, Hey, dude, from, C, from 4CC4. So um, I'm not connected to this one anymore. I'm actually connected to this one that says, Park on it. So I sent the message to Bob. See Bob's device? Signal's 100%. So uh, mine is connected to this. So I sent from this device to this device. And if this device was connected to a phone, it would have dinged like it got a text message or whatever thing you put on there. But also, if you notice here, it says acknowledge. So it means it had made it through. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fast. Okay. So... Um, what I, what I was going to show you now is uh, we know we can set names and stuff, and there's different user features that you can do in here. Um, but there's other stuff that's more advanced, and I find it easier than having to flip through a bunch of screens on here that if you just type a command and send it. So, for example, we have this one here that's default. It doesn't even have a name yet. We're going to give it my name. So we're going to put the phone down here, and we're going to go over to our computer here. And, we're gonna, again, it's connected via US, uh, USB port. Uh, with Python and all that. We're just going to hit the little magnifying glass and we're going to type CMD. We need a command prompt here. So CMD. And uh, you'll see it comes up here. If Yeah, there it is. All right. So we're going to load a, uh, a command prompt. And we're going to type in mesh-tastic space and then a dash and another dash. And then info, I-N-F-O. That's going to pull everything out of this board and tell us everything that's configured in this board and what the board actually sees. It's basically a text version of the app, the graphical user interface app, uh, which makes it a lot easier. But like I said, you can kind of tweak it a little bit more from inside here. So what we see here is um, we have the, uh, the name and... Um, uh, the firmware and all that stuff, it has Wi-Fi, blah, blah, blah. So nodes and mesh. So these are the nodes that it can currently see. Um, so, of course, this one doesn't have, see, this is a long name, and it has uh, that 44CC. Probably can't even see that. I wish I had something I could do. Um, but the, uh, so the names and everything are defaulted. And then if we come down here, we see that we also see Bob's device now. So that's how you can see what, it says nodes and mesh. These are the nodes that are in the mesh. Um, these are the preferences for this particular one. And in this case, it's just basically the GPS is enabled, true, um, update intervals, like how often you want it to send messages or look for messages or update its location and all that stuff. Um, down here, we see the channels and we see that there's only one in there. It says primary. Again, that's the generic default mesh-tastic, one that everybody's on. When they first flash the device, it just goes to that one. So uh, if you put this uh, on your vehicle and drove clear across the United States, you'd probably jump on a bunch of people's uh, networks, provided you're within range of the, the network, and they defaulted it, never, never changed it. Now, um, what I was telling you about in the last video was about the little upgrade thing. So we see down here that it's got a thing to run an upgrade. So we we have a newer version of Meshtastic. So I'm going to do an upgrade from the computer without having to do that whole thing. So in this case, we're just going to type in the PIP and install. We're going to give it a space, dash, dash, upgrade. And what are we going to upgrade? We're going to upgrade Meshtastic. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to force it to upgrade it over um, command prompt. We just got to download and all this stuff. So there we go. So we are we are upgrading our Mestastic now. So let's hypothetically say 
that this uh, is up on a tower somewhere. We can't actually physically plug into it, right? Um, what would we end up doing? These can be remotely controlled. You can change the settings in it, and that is what I wanted to do with this one. This one does not have a name in it yet. We have Bob's already named, but this one doesn't have a name in it yet. So let's go ahead and change the name first. So, all right, so uh, to change, to what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the name uh, via this uh, command prompt here. Okay, so everything you do here, you're gonna start with the word meshtastic so that it knows what device you're sending it to. So currently our device is called, um, that we're connected to here is a uh, meshtastic C, or C, uh, I'll get this right someday. Uh, Meshtastic 4CC4, okay? So we don't want 4CC4. We want an actual name like Bob's device, right? We want to be cool. So we're going to name this one Mark's device. So what we do is we come here and we type Meshtastic. And... Another dash and a dash. And, and uh, we're going to change... You're going to go set... hyphen owner and it's going to be marks oh, we got to put this in quotes sorry uh, marks spell my name right device close quote and uh just done that so um, it's going to then uh, connect to the radio. And connect to the radio. So it set the device to my name. Now this takes forever to update. I don't know why. Sometimes if you get out of it and go back in it, it'll make it do it. Uh, in this case, it is not. But it'll eventually change on here. There it goes. Okay, so now it's called Mark's device. So we sent that command to it. Um, our short name though here, so yeah, we got Bob here, we still have that. So let's go ahead and change our short name. Um, and to do that, we just again type in Meshtastic. And dash dash. And set. Dash. Owner. Dash short. And then uh, you don't have to put it in quotes, but if there's a space in there, you have to put it in quotes. So let's just pretend it's got a space and we'll type mark, close quotes. And now we're gonna send that to, okay? And it's gonna connect to our T-beam. And I screwed something up there. Oh, I didn't put short. Duh. Forgot to put short, so let's try it again. So mesh-tastic, I put shot, I need short. Quotes, M A R K, close quote, send. So, this is, uh, this is a menu that it will default to to tell you that these are things that you can type to make it do different things. It doesn't give you a definition of what they are, but as you uh, do this enough, you'll learn what all these are. So, it's connected to radio, it's setting device short to mark. And now, if we come back here, this up here should uh, change from the 4CC4 to mark there it is voila okay all right now um let's say we want to remotely change the name of bob's right but bob is up on a tower somewhere and we can't possibly climb up there just to change the name or update the device or whatever the case being what we would do in this case is we would add an administrative channel now we know if we type in Meshtastic. Spell it right. Meshtastic dash dash info. We know that it. Uh, can't spell. Okay, here we go. The Meshtastic info, if you run that line again, we know that it only has a single channel. And the single channel is called primary, which is right here. 
so primary what we want to do is we want to make this channel we want to add a secondary channel to it and another thing I would recommend you do is get a, a notepad going and um, basically make a recipe right all these little changes that you make um, put them in there so that you can run them all at once and you don't got a one by one put it in so you can you can string multiple um, commands together uh, you don't have to run just one command at a time like I am but I'm just doing this just to show you guys so if you guys had a notepad and you copied or you, you had the whole like recipe in there you could literally just copy it from the notepad paste it in here and it would just run and it would go to the next command next command next command send 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 and then when it got to the last command then it would reboot and everything would be done but again because you guys I'm doing it slower just so you can see what I'm doing here so uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add an administrative channel <clears throat> so to do that we just type in mesh tastic and then we go dash dash and we hit um, uh, channel ch and then the little dash again and then add add and our channel name is going to be admin this is a default thing and you add you, any admin channel is going to handle it's going to add a different frequency and the only thing that's going to go over that frequency is your your commands um, it's also going to give this some encryption so that it's a little bit more secure so that nobody can go on there and start changing uh, things on you okay so uh, anything where it goes through as far as your messaging or uh, GPS locations, uh, whatever, if you have weather sensors connected to the thing, it's going to send it down the primary channel. And then your secondary channel is going to be used for any kind of like software updates or configuration changes and that. So let's go ahead and run that command on um, on uh, the, the, the Mark T-Beam. And uh, we're going to add this administrative channel <clears throat> to it. So created modified channels to radio. So now we just want to double check this. So we're just going to type in meshtastic info again. So meshtastic dot 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 info. And uh, this time when we call it up. So now we see we have a primary channel and a secondary channel our secondary channel the PSK is set to secret so that means it actually has this this is our uh, our encryption code okay and the name the channel admin so now it knows that the secondary channel is encrypted and it's named admin and it's only for that kind of data now what we have to do is um, we have to take this information and make sure that it the key matches the other radio Bob's radio so um, we can so that we can remote in so where it says here it says complete URL and then it says includes all channels we're gonna take this whole URL and we're gonna copy it okay all the way down to this line here because we want this this is another thing that you're gonna um, save and uh, I think it's copy hope I did that right let's see so we, we we've got that now we're just gonna open um we do notepad and we're going to paste that whole thing in notepad yeah because this is how we're going to get all that information if we add another channel to um to uh if, if we just add the channel it's going to then give that channel a another um encryption key and then they're not going to be able to talk to one another so let's see if I did that right okay I did so I have that whole channel now pasted in my notepad okay so that's that's the info that we want right there so let's just get that out of the way for now so <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this guy Bob's radio okay and uh just to confirm here, we're going to go meshtastic.info. And I believe the encryption key is like uh, 256 AES, whatever that stuff is. I'm not really uh, I'm sure about encryption. I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, we got an error here. Let's see what the issue was here. Uh, did I spell it wrong? It looks like I spelled it wrong. Or is not plugged in one of the two. All right. Dash tastic dash dash info. Try it. 
and I apologize for this seeming like it's uh, kind of crazy. I, I don't have any script. This is literally just out of my head. I've been doing this for about a year or two years now um, and just figuring this stuff out uh, kind of myself. So it's just right out of my head I'm doing this. There's no there's nothing I'm following. No scripts or nothing like that. So, okay, back again. We just have that primary channel because um, this is Bob's. We didn't program Bob's yet. So what we got to do is we got to do the – we got to add the admin admin channel. So – we're gonna type in meshtastic, and we want to add that uh, uh, channel. So dash dash ch dash add, and then space admin, and uh, send. So once we add that administrative channel, um. here okay so now we're just gonna go to that info again and make sure that we have that second channel and now so here we have primary and secondary now the problem is is this key right here is now different so we want to change this so that it matches the other one so this here is what we got to change this includes all channels so this is where your little uh, notepad copy is gonna come in handy so we're gonna grab this whole entire thing here because this has the channels, it has the encryption keys, it's got all that in it, and copy it. And we're going to come back over here and we're going to type in meshtastic, and then uh, we're going to give it a dash dash, and set URL, all one word, space, and then we're going to paste. We want that whole thing in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change this complete URL on Bob's radio to the complete URL that's on this one. And we're going to run that. Hopefully we don't get any errors. Fingers crossed. I'm going to grab a battery here and just power up uh, the other one just uh, in principle here. So it's connecting to radio and it's done. Now what we're going to have to do is, um, and I'm going to do this command over the uh, um, over the air because now that we've changed some channels around it forgets what country it's in so we're gonna just go in and tell it that we're still in the United States so we're gonna change the region in the command prompt not you can do it on the phone still like you did the first time when you set it up but because we kind of first time set this thing up again it wants to know what region we're in um, so uh, here's what we just do is the mesh tastic and not only is it meshtastic, but we want to talk to the, the LoRa part of the meshtastic. So we do dash dash and then we set space L O R A for LoRa. And then dot region, R E G I O N, space, and it's got to be capitalized, capital U, capital S. So now we're going to send that command to set the region for this thing to the US again because we've changed the, the channels around and it's confused and forgot where we are. So there you go, it's writing the preference to the device and we didn't get any error messages. The device is rebooting. Now, um, I believe I gotta go in here and do this one too because, uh, uh, no I guess I don't, okay. Channels, okay good. So, well I'm gonna completely unplug this now, okay? So this is no longer tethered to anything. And we're going to just put it back over here in the corner. We're going to pretend that that one's up on a tower. I'm going to grab my, my other one here and I'm going to plug it in real fast, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to um, we, 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 we want to we send to, we want to make sure that we can connect from this device to Bob's device that's up on the tower, okay? All right, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can talk from this node to Bob's node, which is back over here. It's still not connected to anything except the battery, but we're going to pretend that this is up on a tower somewhere, but it's within range of this guy to be able to talk to, okay? And we want to just... Well, we'll change the name on it. So first thing we want to know is we want to know if this thing can be uh, found right now. So... And this is going to be your test before you go and stick it up on a tower. Make sure that this does this. So mesh-tastic. 
and then dash dash and we're gonna type in nodes n-o-d-e-s and uh, this is gonna show us all the nodes that we currently have and it takes a couple minutes to send out the ping and check them all so here we go so we see here we have mine and we have Bob's okay now Bob's node is now on a tower Bob no longer has it so what we're gonna do here is we're going to change Bob's name uh, Bob's name is going to be um, is gonna be tower okay so for that we just type in uh, mesh tastic and then dash dash I want to give it a destination so we type in t-e-s-t -E and then space and then we're gonna quote this here it's gonna be Bob's device so capital B O B S space D E V I C E and close quotes the reason we had to put this in quotes was because there's a space there if it doesn't have a space you don't have to put it in quotes okay and then the next command is once we've called up Bob's device what do we want to do with Bob's device well let's we'll give it another command dash dash we want to set dash owner to tower okay so we're calling Bob's device and then we're gonna set it to, to tower whatever you want to do if you want to change the region you would you know do that other command for that but we got to get through our network and then give it a command so let's run that and uh, oh, sorry and uh, let's see here we'll go back into the app here and we still see we have Bob's device here but once it makes it to it, uh, oh, it says Bob's device is not found. So let me just try this other way of doing this. So instead of putting Bob's device in, I'm going to change it to the actual uh, the MAC address that's listed here on this. So it's um, exclamation F2664. F D eight. So let's try sending it to an actual MAC address and see what happens. So again, we'll look at this here for Bob's device. Bob's device should change to uh, to tower if this uh, goes through. Connecting to node, waiting for acknowledgement. So it's it's got the node and it received an acknowledgement. And now what we're going to do here is see uh, Bob's device should change to um, to tower. Wait for it. Hmm. I seen it reboot, so I know it did. Let me just get out of this and go back into it. Maybe that'll force it to. Uh... What is it doing here? Completely get out of everything. All right, let's go back here. Load it. Nodes. Yep, there it is. The tower. So we just went through the network and said, "Hey." You're now called Tower. Um, now, this one over here still says Bob. Uh, to change that again, we would just load that thing back up. Now, apparently, you got to use the MAC address. You can't use the short name. But instead of set um, the owner's name, uh, what we would do is we would set the uh, um, the short name. So we would use that same command that we use for the the short name. And again, we just basically gave it a destination. And we change the configuration that way. So if you wanted to change the short name, you would it's exactly the same way that you, you changed the short name the first time we did it. You can change the short name on this. The only thing different is we're not sending it to the mesh tastic that we're physically connected to. We're sending it to a destination down the network to that MAC address. So, okay, guys. Uh, hopefully that's uh, pretty cool to you guys, and you guys can see how that kind of works if you have more than one of them. And, um, you know, another thing, like I was saying about having the different stuff like trackers and stuff like that, you can remotely change the role of this to, um, you know, you could set, you could change the role to being a tracker or a repeater or a router. Um, all the definitions of what those things are, are in that, um, Meshtastic, uh, uh, app. 
And um, another thing, uh, so we did that remotely. We now, because we have that channel, we can go into settings and we can choose to configure like this tower device, right? So we can now do it from our phone too. You don't need to do the command prompt. I just prefer to do the command prompt because I've just been doing it for so long. Like I said, it's been over a year. Uh, but you were able to take the app and go to this one and then administer changes like the, t the name, the short name, all that stuff. You can administer these changes over your, your app to change them. So, you know, it, it, and it's encrypted. Um, and that's, that's how you do that. So, all right, guys, this is like a half hour video. Holy cow. Uh, thanks for watching and, um, you know, have, have fun with these things. Um, it, this is it's pretty it's pretty basic as far as that setup goes but once you get this part down you guys can um you know figure out the rest and your encryption keys and your channel names and changing channels and and all that fun stuff um if you have any uh, problems i can try to answer them i am not by any means uh you know with radio you understand radio you know you have antenna how rf works um these i have no idea how they work or why they work but i can try to uh assist you uh, as much I can, as much as I can. Um, but thanks for checking us out, and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. We're out of here.